My name is Derek Clark. I'm a Team Center Technical Specialist in the Engineering Technical Support Organization. I've provided product lifecycle management technical support for in some form for over 20 years, and I've worked directly with Team Center for over two years. Today, we will look at the benefits of using Deployment Center to simplify your Team Center environment administration. Agenda, we'll look at the benefits of Deployment Center, how easy it is to install, establish um, Team Center environment, register existing ones, and deploy these um, Team Center environments. Deployment Center, is there's no additional cost to you to install and use Deployment Center. It provides a single website application where you can log in, deploy, manage, and deploy the various versions of Team Center over uh, multiple Team Center environment. It reduces the cost of managing the um, Team Center environment by reducing the number of people, steps, and time involved in. Um, of deploying the software. It provides a central location where you can review and adjust these um, deployment configuration before you roll them out. And also it enables you to um, provide parameters once and have those parameters shared across the, the different components that's involved. Installation is a simple seven step operation you first download the software from um, the siemens um, down download page establish the java home location edit and the, the installation steps and parameter file to specify where you want to install the software what ports you want to use and then simply run the installation script and we're going to kind of go through a quick um, demonstration of the steps right now. So first you'll do you download the, the software and in most cases you would download the software in your, your software location. Um, in this case I'm using the de um, deployment center 14.1 version. In the deployment center folder you'll locate your installation configuration properties file and then go ahead and edit that. Edit in the edit mode, you specify where what folder you want to install your the actual application software, what ports, and ensure that those ports are open in your firewall for any internal or external use. Once that's um, de uh, deployed, you'll save it. Then open up a command prompt window in your administration mode, go to the actual directory where you would like, where you have that um, software deployed and then execute the script. So in this case, we just run in the deployment script. And once it, it executes, you'll have your software installed. And then you can go in quickly and log into the actual page as the administrator, which was established in your properties file. And you'll have the application is ready and your software installation um, components that you already established will be available for you to review. So it's several simple steps, which I've just demonstrated. And once you have that established, then you can go ahead and use utilize the tool to create and register existing um, team center environments. To create an en environment, you just simply log into the deployment center, go to the environment um, tab or page, and use the add to add a new environment. In that case, that once it's added, you could go ahead and uh, use the overview component portion to edit the name and location and any comments you want to put in there. 
And the key to using these environments is to establish the software that you're gonna for the environment, the options that you do, whatever applications and the components, and then deploy that script. Once you have the scripts deployed, then you take that um, actual script, download it to the, the actual workstation that you like to install that, make the installation and then execute the deployment script. So in this case, we're gonna demonstrate that those steps go in, you'll, you'll establish, uh, create a new environment by clicking on the plus. Once you have the environment established you, in the overview, you can go ahead and edit the name, uh, location and comments. So in this case, I'm, putting, I'm gonna put this installation on my local workstation. So I'll give it the name and actually keep the name as my local machine and put some comments for what version of Team Center I'm gonna install. Once I finish that, I'll save it, and then go ahead and select the versions of the software that in this case I'm doing um, 14 and with uh, the um, SolidWorks, Solid Edge. Once the component the software is registered, you go in, you define the options in the options. You can either do a GE, uh, G2E or let's go back here or use the IIS as a as the architecture for deploying. You can specify whether it's a single um, box installation or distributed. And then for the applications, you can go ahead and specify additional applications that you want to install by clicking on the add. And for each component, you'll go through and make sure that each component is 100% complete and that will let the, the deployment script available to you. In this case, uh, I'm gonna go through a few, pick a few of them and show the examples of the, the components that you need to find. So in this case, for the database, you, you could have the database local or networked, the FSC, you go ahead and specify what the directories you're going to use, a rich client, uh, whatever you need, you need for your team center um, web tier. You could go in and specify that information that's needed. And once that's completed, you go ahead. You could go ahead and generate the script. Once the script is generated, it will present to the location on the server where that where that uh, um, script is generated. You go to that server. Copy the locate, copy the script, bring it over to your the target workstation, extract that comp the information, and then go ahead and go to that directory where it's extracted and execute the the script. Execute the scripts that shows. Execute the script that shows where um the information is provided in this case I extracted it execute the command prompt that place go to the directory executes and then it will install go ahead and conf deploy the information once it's deployed you can come back to your deployment center login and confirm the information by going to into your environment and it will show the status for each of the component with a flag indicator to say show that it's 100 percent complete and that's how easy it is to create and deploy the, an environment for existing environments you'd simply locate um, obtain the software that you that was deployed establish those software in the deployment center repository that was established when you install the tool and in there is a the additional tool area of the deployment kit you would obtain the send to configuration zip you copy that down to the server or the corporate server environment that you like to register establish your 
um, team center root environment variable that points to where the configuration is and then execute that send to deploy configuration script with its parameters, uh, including where your server and the administration login and the environment name that you like to establish. And it will scan your information and place that into the server. So I'm going ahead and demonstrate that. In this case, we log in as the administrator just to confirm and show that there is no environments established so far. Go to the the actual location where you deploy your your application web. In, under the application web server, you'll have the additional folder, additional tool folder where the zip file will be located. You go ahead and copy, go to that location, copy, get a copy of the send to configuration script. Bring that over to the server that you'd like to register, unzip that content, and then execute the, go into the command prompt, grab that, go to the location that you, ex, you know, extracted the information, and send, execute the send to the send configuration command as demonstrated here with the parameters that you like to configure. In this case, I want to register my environment, which is I'm going to call TCAWS. And once I execute that, it will go ahead and scan the information and present you to say, OK, the environment was registered. Good. Then you can go ahead and refresh your environment and you demonstrate that it's actually defined. And you get the registered uh, software along with the machine name. You can go ahead and look at various information about you know, the, the name of the server and additional information will be captured. For deploying, and we've gone through, but for with the registration, there's some note, notations for this uh, registering environment to note. If you're using an IAS, Web web server, um, you need to execute or edit the installation configuration XML to ensure that the existing website ID matches the, the path or information that's registered in the IAS server. The tool, when you try to execute the registration, will actually uh, capture that and give you the information that you need to um, update that configuration information with. For if you're using an, a Java IE, a Java EE um, web tier component, um, the, the send to tool is not able to read that information out of the that I, um, application web manager. So once it completes its registration, you will need to go ahead and go back in and uh, edit that component to define the information that was already specified since it's not able to read that information. The deployment env to deploy environment, it's, as I say, it's a simple step. You go ahead in the in deployed environment, specify the software component application and then execute the script. But ensure to run the deploy bat script with the passwords and the actual uh, repository. For your local repository, you can either uh, make establish local versions or you can establish a network share to your to your um, deployment center repository and then use that as your um, software location when you're executing the script. I won't go through this, that um, actual script process again, since we've um, done it a few times. A key um, deployment, quick environment um, deployment feature is provided. And with this um, deployment option, it requires you to have um, expertise of my, um, ex, uh, editing XML configuration file. 
So in this case, uh, you typically would uh, ex export an existing environment as a starting point. Go ahead and uh, make updates to the XML file that's generated to add whatever software components that you want to add or, or uh, update. And then you would take, get, obtain the quick deploy um, zip file in the additional tool area. Grab, get that down to the your server that you want to actually execute that on. You know, and then go ahead and execute the deployment script, uh, specifying the location, the URL to the server, whatever environment information that you like to specify along with the input of the XML configuration file, along with additional information that would actually execute the script and generate, register the, the environment and actually uh, register the environment and generate the deployment script all in one, one execution. Once that deployment script is established, then you, will, you copy that down to the server that you would like to deploy and execute the deployment. In this case, you go ahead into the actual XML, edit the XML file. So in this case, I have the XML exported. Take a look in the XML file, make changes to it as needed. Once it's completed, obtain the script and Fast forward a little bit, execute that script. It will generate the deployment and you copy that over, execute the deployment script itself on the server and you go ahead and install the components as, as needed. In this case, I'm executing my, my team, my a Drew server component a new install and it's gonna go ahead go ahead and employ deploy 300 and so components we'll go, the deployment script will go through execute all the pieces that's needed and when that's completed you can then go back to once that's deployed You go back to your environment and you'll see the, the actual deployment script located there. So for the quick deploy, that's one feature that's available to you. Uh, that's a quick execution script for note for notif notified notice notable takeaways from this is that um, deployment center is easy to install it provides um, great benefits it's of no cost to install and use and the environment if you register in an IIS um, web tier you need to remember to update your existing web ID if you're using the send to method for to register a Java IEE web application, you need to ensure that afterwards you need to update your component when after the scan is complete. And the quick deploy method requires an XML customization expertise and it provide, performs that execution and registration and generation of the deployment script in one step. Thanks for checking out our channel. If you like what you saw, make sure to like and subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any new videos. Follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter for the latest engineering news and information. And to see all of our upcoming events, please visit our website at saratech.com events.